off you guys good morning good morning good morning i gotta head over to the post office real quick you guys and then come back home and start baking cookies i finally this morning finished doing the lemon cookies but i did the peanut butter cookies last night before i went to bed those workers are outside again i don't know if they're waiting on an okay for something but they just been chilling hanging out but i'm gonna go ahead and do what i got to do for today because after i make these cookies and they cool i'm gonna go ahead and pass some out i think i'm gonna go see my friend tammy because i haven't seen her or talked to her in a while and she loves my peanut butter cookies so i know she'll love the the new peanut butter cookie that i created my cousin Janai, she's going to be doing my my shirts for me. And I've actually found some shirts online for like less than $3. And they're nice quality shirts. They're t-shirts. And I got four of them. And then I put two of my baker's hats in the box as well for her to design for me. I'll just leave that light on since I'm coming right back. But the shirts are gonna look like the apron. Well, I told her to try to make the shirts look like the apron. She still have the template that she used when she made the apron. She also sent the template to me. So when the website is designed, we could kind of use that. And I don't, I'm not quite for sure if they'll be able to use it or not. If not, it's okay. Oops, did not mean to hit that button. I meant to hit this button. pay for this shipping y'all i'm paying for the shipping three times and i know y'all probably thinking why didn't you just send the shirts to her i'm not quite for sure how that went oh i do know i didn't have my cousin's address at the time when i ordered the shirts so i had to have them sent to me but i told her when she gets done making them i'll pay for the shipping to have them uh ship back to me Oh, I got some Amazon packages, y'all. I got some packages. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I did not know that. one thing for certain too for sure i'm gonna document everything and they keep leaving the the wires uncovered that goes to our internet connection now if it rain what's gonna happen if you, if they don't cover it back up and he's sitting up here looking at me now because i'm up here filming that's like i don't care i live here baby i don't care i can do whatever i want i'm on my property but yeah they just keep exposing that i'm i'm showing everything just in case i need to so if this is what I think it is, I want to show y'all first so y'all can get my initial reaction. I already feel like I'm about to be ticked off, okay? And the reason why is because a couple of weeks ago, I ordered a wheel cover for the back of my truck to display my business. Remember when I did the photos? I never did the intro yet because y'all, it's been crazy. But anyhow... For the new channel, I didn't do the intro, but I did take the pictures for the business cards and I put like five or six pictures on my Facebook profile and I asked you guys to choose which picture for the business card. The picture that got the most likes was the one that I chose and I also chose it for the wheel cover. Now, when I paid for my wheel cover, I told them exactly how I wanted everything to look i paid an extra ten dollars for edits in which i thought they'll send me 
before they ship it out to me if I need to change anything, an uh, image of it. Never got an image of the wheel cover, what it was going to look like. I got notification today saying that the wheel cover was going to be here today. It feels really, really thin, cheap like because the wheel cover that I got that's on the car right now, it, it's like thick. And even when they shipped it to me, it was in a box. And this is in this little plastic bag right here. And I'm almost for sure this is exactly what it is. I feel like I don't order some bull crap, y'all. And I'm going to be sending it back. How you going to tell me to pay $10 for edits, but then you make the wheel cover and don't show me what it looked like if I need to make edits? That was the whole purpose of me paying for it. Yeah, this is it. I told y'all. Y'all ready? Now, if they did a good job, it's cool. But if they didn't do a good job, oh yeah, I'm about to be real upset. Y'all ready? This is what I wanted, but my picture looked crazy to me. And my cookies. We just gonna have to put this on the car. Right, let me see if I can get the, the other wheel cover off and then we gonna see what this is giving. So that's what it looks like, you guys. What's up, fam? Happy Saturday. Get ready to step out for a few minutes, you guys. I got to run over to Walmart and the Dollar Tree. I got a party that I got to do and I got to get pretzels. And then I have everything that I need for 
that event. And I got to get myself some fruit so I can make myself a granola bowl because it's been like three days since I've had one and I'm in withdrawal. I can't go another day, so I'm going to Myers to get myself some fruit and have myself a granola bowl. I don't know what I'm eating for dinner, but I'm going to start with that granola bowl. And then I'll finish up Tasha's Bible. I'll show you guys a little bit how I do that, and then we'll end this video so that way we can just keep it on moving. You guys. So let's work on this Bible real quick. <clears throat> I've been down for a little bit today. My stomach was hurting. I don't know why my stomach was hurting as bad as it was hurting y'all. But I promise you, I was in the bed for like three hours because my stomach was killing me. But I'm good now. I'm ready to finish this Bible and I'm going to complete it tonight. Because like I said earlier, I want to deliver it to her tomorrow. Right before I get ready to customize a Bible for anybody that's in my family, I try to to just look at their personality, uh, a little bit of their background, and just give a scripture that's just dedicated to them, and hopefully they'll adopt that scripture for themselves. So the, the scripture that I chose for my cousin Tasha was Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So that's the scripture that I chose for her. Um, and this is going to be the picture that I'm going to stick next to the scripture. This I actually have from Davy Oz. I'm only going to use like maybe one or two of these in hers since she said that her favorite color is pink. I don't want to give her too much blue. But I did use one of them that was like a lighter shade of gray. And I already glued it into the Bible. So basically, I'm going to take the first cover. I, I glued down a piece of paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue her picture down. And the scripture, I think what I'm gonna do is use some pink washi tape to go around the, the picture. Since she does like pink, I'm gonna try not to do pink overload on her Bible, but I'm gonna definitely make it pink enough to where if somebody picked it up, they know it belonged to a woman. As you guys know, I went ahead and tabbed her Bible using pink tabs. And with the the tabs that I've been purchasing lately, and I think this is all tabs. I don't think it necessarily matter if you get them on Amazon or not, but I just think if you order tabs in general, they always give you extra tabs just in case you want to tab something else in your Bible. And I keep those things just in case I want to use them in the future on another Bible or maybe tab my Bible. But this is um, some tabs that I got from I think this was from the smaller Bible that I did for myself for the little pink one. And then this one was from Davion's. And then I believe this one might have been from my mother's Bible. And then these are from Tasha's Bible. So I do hold on to these. I'm not going to put any more pink ones, I don't think, in her Bible as tabs just because she already has enough pink. 
I might, if I want to tab something else in her Bible, something to stand out, I might use the ones that were in or for my mother's Bible. Yeah, I think I like the flower ones better. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. And like I said, when you're making your Bible, you can do whatever you want. This takes me a while to do because I'm literally trying to do something different on another Bible versus what I did on a previous Bible. So they don't all look alike, but it's customized enough for you. That's why I asked for pictures too. So I could put like your picture in there, your, your mom, dad, if you got grandkids, whatever, whoever you want in there, just give me the pictures and then I'll try to customize them and make them fit. So that's that. I got all my Bibles out y'all, every single Bible that I own is out on this table. I also use my Strong's Concordance Bible. I've had this for, well, let's just say I've had this since like 2005. So I've had it for a long time, but it comes in handy, especially when you quote in a scripture and you know the scripture, but you don't know where it's found in the Bible. You can look up one of those words that's in that scripture. So take like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. You can look up the word direct in this concordance Bible and it'll take you right to the scripture and tell you where to find it. So that's what I love about this. I used to be a beast back in the day, y'all, when it came to memorize the scripture and where you could find them from. Now I can still quote scripture, but I don't necessarily remember in the Bible where to find them. Prayerfully, I'll get back to where I used to be, where I could quote scripture and I only quote it, but I can tell you where it is. Cause sometimes people like to call you out and ask you, well, where do you find that at? And I just want to be ready. So just in case somebody asks me, where do you find that at in the Bible? I can already, you know, let them know, Hey, this is the scripture. This is where you go to find it or whatnot. But yeah, a little fun fact about me, her Bible. Okay. Another thing that I like to do is on the part where this Bible is presented to, I go ahead and write down who the Bible is going to. And then I like to put like stickers and stuff on this part so it could be decorated a little bit too. And then the next page over, I'm only going to do one pretty piece of paper that I already cut out the, to fit her Bible. So it's gonna go in just like that. I'm gonna glue it in there. So you see how it lays in there and it just flushes right with the other pages. And I'm only doing one because I don't feel like I have a lot of space here for extra paper. However, I'm gonna put one here cause it'll start pulling. So you gotta be careful when the pages look like they, they're really, really tight in there. Don't put too many of your own extra pages in there because it's gonna start pulling this one page and it's gonna start looking crazy. I had to learn that the hard way. And y'all, the bifocals have come in handy today, okay? So I'm just gonna glue the seam here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And don't put too much glue because you'll have glue everywhere. And what you wanna do is you wanna let these pages dry before you start adding more pages because then they'll start gluing to the next page that you put in as well. So I basically just start at the tip and I just kinda Put it on there like this. And then I close my Bible. Once I get it in place where I want it to be. And I make sure the other page is not being pushed. So you want to pull and push at the same time. Making sure your Bible page is not getting consumed by the, the page that you just put in there. The next thing I like to do is close the Bible put something heavy on top. It doesn't take long for this glue to dry at all. It dries really, really quickly. I wait for that. And then I'll go ahead and start going in some more pages in which I don't think I'm gonna use this one cause this one is totally different from all the other ones. 
If I have to though, I'll cut another piece. Let me see how many pages I put initially in my Bible. I have finished this one completely. And matter of fact, with this one, I don't even think I could add any more tabs because I've made this thing bigger than what it is with all my tabs and my ribbon that I put in here. But I love this Bible. I walk around the house with this Bible in my hand praying because I do have a prayer request in here for friends and family. And I just try to cover everybody. So all of these names that are here on my little Bible, um, this is just a prayer request and I just cover everybody. So you basically can, you make your Bible how you want to, you guys. I don't know what you're going through or what you need to be your daily reminders, but just customize your Bible to fit you. This one, I had started a fasting a fasting uh, journal in this Bible, and then I took it straight to my bigger Bible because I can actually read, not to say I can't read my handwriting, but when it comes to reading the Bible, the print has to be large. And I do recommend that if you are going to purchase a Bible, get large print, whether you got 2020 vision or not, it, it's a struggle to read like that fine print in the Bible. And I don't like struggling reading my Bible. It gets frustrating. And I was very frustrated when I was trying to read my little smaller pink Bible because the words are so small. And that's what made me order this Bible since I could barely read that one. So just remember to get large print because it definitely does help at the end of the day, especially if you just waking up and you want to read before you get out of bed. It's already hard when you're trying to focus your eyeballs and, and then trying to read some small print. Uh, it ain't going to go over too well. So get large print. I, I recommend it highly. These Bibles that I have been purchasing, I've literally been getting them from Amazon for like 20 bucks. You can't beat that. It's a King James version. I know some people, they use different versions of the Bible, but the only Bible that I know is King James version. That's the Bible that I grew up on. Read like the NIV. It's kind of similar to the, to the KJV, but I've memorized scriptures down through the years. So when I hear somebody quoting a scripture from the NIV, it throws me off. So I just got to stick to what I know. So that's the only reason why I stick with the King James Version Bible. And even when I did De Beyond's Bible, he told me I use the King James Version Bible. So that's the reason why I purchased him a King James Version Bible. But it's just according to what your preference is, you can understand. So that should be dry. So we got our, our page glued down. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the rest of them on this one. But just pay attention to your seam. All of them are sticking. How do you guys? So what I'm going to do is just decorate one page on camera because this video is already long. And then when I get done, I will come back and show you guys the finished Bible. Let's do Tasha's picture, which is one of the ones she sent me. I'm going to glue it. Elmer's glue is going to be your best friend. I had to get another one because I am running out. Get a good, strong Elmer's glue. Don't get that cheap one. Okay. So I'm going to take her picture. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to take her picture and I'm going to place it kind of 
up top to the side a little bit because I'm going to angle angle her scripture this way and I'm angling it this way I'm going to push it over to the side just a little bit because that's perfect okay and I'm going to do that So with this, I like to close it while it's still trying to dry and then lay something heavy on top so everything can dry. So I'm gonna put my book back on there. And then I'm gonna use a sticker. I'm for sure I'm gonna use washi tape, but I chose a sticker for her um, that says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So I'm gonna stick that next to her picture. It's a lot of cool stickers on this sheet, so I'm gonna have fun using these. Oh, they didn't. Okay. So I have three little pages of stickers here, in which I'm probably gonna utilize quite a few of these. I still have some of my old stickers too, uh, from a couple months back. I have to get the sinner's prayer in there, of course, so that's gonna be on another page by itself. And then far as like the gel highlighters, I wanna hip you guys to something. These markers right here, they are specifically for your Bible because they don't bleed through the pages. Now you could use like regular highlighters like these, which is the regular big highlighters. Uh, you gotta be careful when you're using these in your Bible because they will bleed through onto the next uh, page. So I try not to use these that much. I these on Amazon and they come in all different colors. I think I paid for this one probably $10 for this pack. However, not all the colors in here show up. So it really irritated me when I first got this because I'm thinking like, oh, I got all of these colors that I can use and, and not all of them sh showed up on the page. Today I found these at Walmart and they were like $3. These are gel highlighter pens. They don't bleed through the page. I believe that these will be a longer life than, than these. Do gel highlighters. They won't bleed. Okay. All right.
right, you guys. So here's what our first page looks like. I'm trying not to do too much, but this takes me a very long time to do. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the two pages that I done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and then I'll come back and show you guys what her finished Bible looks like. You guys, I'm all done with my cousin's Bible. Y'all already seen this page. Here's the second page with the sinner's prayer. Then this is her and her husband. And then right before we get to the next page. one of her grandbabies and then this is all of us at Marvis's graduation party and then I gave Tasha scriptures on healing and then you are special scriptures her bible is tagged I only did two for her and then um, I highlighted some scriptures as well I did leave one page because y'all all know that I try to leave something for them so she got some pages if she wants to put something on the back here. Maybe a little something here, I don't know. And then she got this page and then this page. I do leave pages for them to customize themselves to make it more uh, their own for themselves. And I add a pack of tabs also just in case they find some scriptures that they want to um, highlight and go to quickly. I give them extra tabs. So she got those. And then all her um, scriptures on healing is in pink ribbon. And then the ones you are special are in yellow ribbon. This is just how I did those. I did part ribbon, outlined the scripture and the chapter. Just like that. I gave her Psalms 37, which has been blessing me lately. It's about waiting on God. Here's the other tabs for the scriptures on You Are Special. It has the love chapter, the daily prayer, which is all highlighted for her as well. Of course, I do the salvation chapter, Ephesians 1 and 2. Customize it for them. I am Tasha. I am blessed. I am chosen. I am without blame. And then the faith chapter, Hebrews chapter 11. And yeah, you guys know how I always do it. And yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. I am so tired. My stomach is still hurting. I'm kind of hungry. I want to eat something, but I'm kind of scared to eat something because I don't want to get sick again. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And I will see you guys on another video real soon, fam. Bye.